guys, it's Amber, and I am so thankful to have you here watching me today. Um, we're going to do a really quick and easy video today, or really quick and easy project, I should say. Um, and I'm going to try to do where I'm talking to you here, and I will have either split screen, depending on where it is, or um, the box up here showing you what I'm doing up here, okay? Trying not to move things around so that you can see everything. So first off, let's just get started. Um, we're going to be using the stamp set oh, <laughs> that I dropped on the floor. Um, spooky Cat, okay? Our Spooky Cat stamp set, Spooky Cat, if you're looking from up there. Um, and I did use this with you about a week ago, but we're gonna do another fun video today with it. So let's get started. I can do this without knocking everything around. I feel like I keep moving and moving everything. Um, so first off, we are going to start with the color pumpkin pie, okay? Um, this is a really one of my favorite colors actually from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to use my bone folder and I have a piece that is cut at eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I have scored it at four and a quarter, four and a quarter. And I'm gonna use my bone folder and just fold this over and score it. Um, so now we're going to be doing a sideways card. Sideways, sideways. Um, I am also going to be using some paper from the Spooky Nights Designer Series paper. Okay. Um, this piece has fun designs on both sides. Okay. I have cut this piece down to, I have to think, five and three eighths, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So I want a very thin, um, a very thin margin. Margin, words are sometimes hard guys. Um, margin around the edge. And I am just using my snail adhesive right here to, to stick it up. And I'm going to center this right in here. Okay, right there. So now we have the designer series paper right there on the back. Okay, that's what it looks like up close, up close. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stamping. So I actually have uh, three pieces of paper here. I have Whisper White, Basic Black, and another Whisper White. We're gonna stamp on the smallest Whisper White. We have two stamps we're gonna do. Um, this one says, a wicked yummy treat for you, okay? That's the first one. We're going to stamp that in basic black. <laughs> and I'm going to make a mess. You guys all wanted to see my fingerprints, right, on the paper. I know you did. Because, you know, I'm kind of a big deal. Totally. Um, anyway, so this is a wicked chummy. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. A wicked yummy treat for you. And we're going to center this right here on our paper and not get black all over our hand again. Okay, a wicked yummy treat for you. Yay! And I'm done with basic black, so I'm just going to close that up and put it out of the way. Now I have Tangerine Tango that I'm gonna stamp with. Um, and yes, we are using pumpkin pie as a background color, um, but I do like using Tangerine Tango when I'm gonna do words. Uh, to me, it ends up being just a little bit brighter and it pops a little more um, and it matches because everything in Stampin' Up! really matches each other. It really does. So we're going to use our Tangerine Tango. Open that bad boy up. And we are stamping Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween for you at looking above. So I'm just going to oof, not move stuff around. Grind that bad boy up. And I'm going to do it right in between where I wrote a wicked yummy treat for you, where I wrote, ha, because I have really good penmanship and I totally wrote that just now so fast, um, where I stamped a wicked yummy treat for you. So this is to show you too that you don't have to use these just for treat bags. You can use the wicked yummy treat for you on regular cards. It, it's a really cute card, guys. I'm excited for you to see it. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to attach these layers. 
And if you're wondering why I did white, black, white, you'll see after our next step. So we're just going to attach first this black on the white. And with these, I did an eighth of an inch around um, or an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's really a sixteenth of an inch around um, margin. Okay. It's going to look really small right now. Um, but once it's on our card, it'll be, it'll be better. I got to remember that you guys can see me here and not just my hands up there. So I can't make any of my funny faces. Because I make funny faces. Like I am now. Like I am now. And I hear my kitties running around talking to each other. Hey, a wicked yummy treat for you. I'm going to center that in the middle of the black. Da, 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 and I know this is probably going to be a late video. Um, I upload every Wednesday and it's been a crazy day. So this probably won't show up until Thursday. So I apologize. I apologize. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'll show you it this way too. Okay, oh, we gave yummy treat for you. Happy Halloween. Okay, um, put that to the side for our next step. We have another piece of our designer series paper, the same designer series paper pack. And we are going to use our kitty cat punch, which is so adorable. Open that bad boy up. And they size the cats on this to fit in the punch, which is so awesome. I tell you, it was really difficult for me to figure out how to cut this down so I can get the most use out of it. I kind of just figured you get two pieces of this one in there. So I decided one piece is going to be for punching and the other piece will be for backgrounds. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm just going to line this bad boy up inside here. Right like that. Look how smooth that cuts. This is a really good punch. This is a really good punch. Look how cute my kitty is. Look how cute he is, my little black kitty. Okay. Anywho, you get to see you get to see me up close and personal today. Okay. So, kitty, I'll show you this way too. My kitty, kitty, and I'm going to close my punch back up so it doesn't sit open because I don't want to break it because they are really sturdy and I yeah I don't want to break it. That's my big thing. Okay, so let's see. So now, I'll show you this way. Look how cute that is right there, okay? The kitty's gonna be like coming at it from behind the box. It's really fun. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna use my snail again. My snail again. And we are going to put some snail on the back. A couple little strips. Oh, I did that wrong. I did that wrong, but no one's gonna see it. I'm just gonna put snail on the kitty and then I'm gonna put my dimensionals on here. You guys, huh, every day is a new adventure with me. So we are gonna actually put, oh, sorry. We're gonna put snail on the kitty right there and turn the kitty over and attach it right here. So that's how your kitty looks. Now, I don't want to turn this over and ruin this, so my snail out of the way. I'm going to use some dimensionals. Dimensional. Okay, put them all over the back of this and try not to get it stuck to my hand. Oh, tell you what, guys. Now that school has started, I love school. I love working at the school. It's so fun, but I get home and I am tired. I'm just, I'm just tired. Those kids wear me out, even though it's really not a difficult job. It's just emotionally taxing. Really, it's just emotionally taxing. Okay, so I have my dimensionals on the back. I'm gonna peel my backs off of them, maybe. So I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, it's almost the weekend again, which is so nice. Well, kind of almost the weekend. It's Wednesday slash Thursday. By the time you guys are going to probably see this, um, my weekend starts on Friday. So it's almost the weekend for me. 
Okay, let me put this little kitty on here, right there, and say happy Halloween and a wicked yummy treat for you. And here's my tester card that I didn't mess up on. <laughs> I didn't mess my backing up on, but it doesn't matter if I messed it up. It's okay. It's cute either way. Isn't that cute? I just, oh, I love this card. I love this card. I'm so, I love for this. I love four. I love this set. Um, so that is it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you. We will have our Friday live this week. Last week, you see that? There's a piece of cat hair that just flew through the air in front of me. That was, that was good. That's how you tell my, can tell my cats have been fighting with each other. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I will see you on Friday for my live. Last week my mom was visiting and so we were working on other things. We were dying yarn. I'm going to be honest. We were dying yarn. So this week um, it's just me and the hubby. So I will be home and I will do my live for you. And um, if you don't know, if you've never watched me live, I do Facebook Live every Friday at 11 a.m. Mountain Daily Time. During, after Daylight Saving. It's not like Mountain Standard Time, but it's Mountain Daily Time. Um, and you can find me on Facebook.com slash The Jam and Stamper. Um, I also have Snapchat. You can follow me on Snapchat as Jam and Stamper. No the, just Jam and Stamper. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram as well as The Jam and Stamper. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on the flip side. Bye guys.